It feels strange to write a eulogy for a place you sit in traffic. This has always been part of my life. Stranger still to memorialize tons of emotionless concrete. I wasn't going to get sentimental about this, but... But here Glenn Nelson stands above the Alaskan Way Viaduct, getting one last picture of rush hour. I hope it turns out. Before the last cars travel the road Friday. And even though I don't travel this on a commute or anything, I, um, I do treasure it, so I feel like I'm going to miss it. Call it an eyesore, a disaster waiting to happen. This triple-decker traverse has been a Seattle landmark. It'll be interesting to see how it transforms. One that made a panoramic view of the city available for anyone passing through. But I used to commute to Fremont, um, so I would take it every day. And I love driving by the wheel, and it made traffic a little bit more bearable to be able to see out to the water. Rachel Jarvis may be a transplant, but she's already seen the emotion this road inspires. Yeah, I have a, a good girlfriend who lives here, and she and her boyfriend went on a like final drive together. And it's, it's nice that people have a, a good feeling towards it. And that connection may not transfer to the new tunnel, a project for which Catherine Bassetti was the official photographer. I spent four and a half years, most of it underground with the tunnel as it bored along. Which is why she's standing here sharing this moment. A lot of people don't like it. It's an old, gray, ugly thing, but uh, I remember the viaduct fondly. A moment to consider where we've been. I can't believe that after tomorrow there'll be no traffic and it's coming down soon. I'm thinking as I'm taking this, that I'm going to be looking back on these photos. As Glenn reflects on what's to come for the waterfront. Change is constant. And I'm, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what this looks like in 10 years. Not to mention 10 months. In Seattle, Michael Crow. Growth is exciting and it's also kind of sad. King 5 News. You can take one last ride on the viaduct in virtual reality. We drove down the viaduct, northbound and southbound, for a last hurrah on a sunny Seattle day. To take the ride, text the word virtual to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you a link. Remember, we have a complete survival guide for the closure at king5.com slash tunnel effect. And on Facebook, we're taking all of your questions in our group discussion. Just join the, search the words Seattle Tunnel Traffic on Facebook and join the group.